This video presents the work Testing and Improvements of Coupa ML, a platform to ease the development of machine learning pipelines in the medical domain. So to put it into context, several domains benefit from the application of machine learning models, but this process can also be sensitive. One of the domains that benefit from this kind of approaches is the medical domain, where data is processed to ease complex tasks such as segmentation, assessment of organ functions, and even disease detection. So being a sensitive process, it is important to train physicians regarding machine learning applications to reach two main goals. The first, to allow them to apply machine learning pipelines without the necessity of expert knowledge. And the second, to avoid wrong conclusions, losses, and even negligence. So in previous works, we introduced CoopIML, a platform to ease the application of machine learning through visual nodes in the medical domain without the necessity of having programming skills. This work presents the improvements and validation of this platform based on new necessities derived from the user-centered approach followed for its development. So the first version of Coupa ML allowed users to drag and drop different processing nodes, different machine learning related nodes, and connect them in order to develop machine learning pipelines using different unitary tasks, such as pre-processing tasks, the training of machine learning models, and even the assessment of this model through different metrics. It also allowed the visual analysis of the input data and also a summary of different metrics related to the quality of the models. However, during the first validation of the first version of Coupa ML, different new requirements and interesting features appeared. We developed two prototypes in order to validate and test these new features before introducing them in production. So these two prototypes were developed in Adobe XD and an expert evaluation was carried out in order to evaluate these new features. So these prototypes were evaluated by two experts within the medical domain and specifically these links to the different prototypes were shared with two medicine PhD students who specialize in using artificial intelligence to predict cardiological conditions. The first prototype was focused on providing support to apply artificial intelligence algorithms to DICOM images, also in an intuitive and transparent manner. While the second prototype was more focused on improving the workspace for developing the machine learning pipelines, as well as introducing recommendations and hints to ease the definition of these flows. The results of the evaluations were very positive. Regarding the first prototype, the two experts highlighted the ease of use of the platform and the intuitiveness of the interface. Also, they provided very useful recommendations such as the potential low usage of the segmentation tool. On the other hand, the second prototype received similar feedback related to the usability of the interface. Also, the two experts pointed out that recommending steps to follow is very interesting in this context. So, to conclude this work, the two prototypes were developed to evaluate and explore new features of QBML and to make design decisions before including them in production. The feedback of the evaluation was positive and very useful. The two experts pointed out that both prototypes were intuitive, simple and easy to use. Regarding the negative feedback, it is mostly related to the misunderstanding of some machine learning nodes in the interface. This kind of issue can be avoided by improving the information related to the goals, inputs and outputs of each machine learning node in the workspace. Future research line will involve the evaluation of the implemented features as well as user evaluations related to the usefulness of the displayed heuristics and recommendations during the development of the machine learning pipelines. Thank you very much for your attention.